Okay, so this is what I'm using to test signals. See if something's high or low. Video's on the screen. If you look carefully, you'll notice this is actually just the addresses that are going to the memory. Why is the memory not enabled? Hmm. Well, uh, I forgot a little detail. See, you look there. Hopefully it didn't just flip. Um, it's a AS6C1008 chip. Now, if we look on here, uh, the address 16 line on the board is actually going to CE2, which is active high. So if that's low, then the chip's not even enabled. But that gets worse because there's actually these NAND gates here, which actually goes here. It, these are like the same connections going to this chip and that chip's the same chip. So it's as if that was plugged in, but that controls uh, the, C, the actual CE line that's active low and that's messed up. So let's, can let, let, let me show you something quick before we get to that. So the active high CE line is right there. See how there's this weird oscillation here? What is that? I haven't traced that to where it's coming from yet, but I'm really glad that I found this. So you see that? Okay. Now, I need to disconnect some wires. Which one are the, I think it's, no, this, I think it's this one. So I disconnect this one and I ground it. Yep, that's one of them. You can see changed. So for a second there. So uh, the next one is this orange one here. It goes there, unplug it, ground it. Okay, now it's glitching. That is so strange. I wonder what signal might have to do with that. Can you take a guess? Hmm. Now I don't really understand why that address line is doing that, so I'm gonna have to investigate it, but we can actually check real quick because that address line should be coming from this chip. And where is my data sheet for that? Look how many tabs I have, jeez. Okay, um, and guess what? I also have another browser with more tabs. Um, here's the pinout of that chip. That A16 line is three down from VCC. So that is... Right there. Hang on. Okay, so it's coming from that chip. In that case, it is almost certainly a programming problem. It has nothing to do with the hardware. Interesting.